Thanks, Rachel. Like you mentioned, it is very hot out here, not only because of the temperatures, but because we have the grill fired up. I'm joined here by George Sheffer with Murdell 2 Value. And I noticed on your apron, it says Chef. How'd you get that name? How'd I get that name? <laughs> well, the chef comes from a couple of things, of course, barbecue and cooking all the time. And I've been, uh, went to a lot of cooking schools, so I do know a little bit about that. But also, my last name is Sheffer, okay? So my <laughs> daughter one dime decided to make me an apron that says the chef. Well, you make me feel very underdressed right now, but I can't help but to stare at this pizza right here. What do we have? How do you make it? Okay, here's what we're starting, trying to show on how we can do so many different things with the grill. I decided after we moved on from breakfast, we're going to do a nice homemade pizza, okay? So there we go, get dough, okay? If you're going to make your own dough, use a little cornbread on the bottom to make it easy so that you can roll out your dough. You roll out your dough. Then we want to take and get olive oil. You want to olive oil the one side. You want to put the one side on the grill and cook it from about three to five minutes, okay? Then actually you don't want to flip it. You want to take it off the grill, and this is where we're at right now. We've taken it off the grill, then we flipped it over, okay? I'm showing the cook side up. I am now putting whatever my fresh ingredients are on it, okay? And then when we do that, we're gonna put it back on the grill, cook it for another five minutes, okay? And then after that, we want to let it rest for about 30% of what the cooking time was. And do you have to cover your grill with anything, or do you just put the pizza directly on the grill? The best to cook most of the time, and this is hard for people to do because they always <laughs> want to see what's going on, okay? You are creating the most heat and controlling top and bottom cooking when you keep your grill closed. So if you could keep the grill closed, okay, it's cooking. If I'm looking, it's not cooking. <laughs> and what toppings do we have on this particular well, pizza? Well, this particular pizza, so I did, because we're not going to cook it that long, I decided to take the fresh vegetables that we have. We have, uh, actually, I used red peppers instead of green. I think they have a, a little bit more flavor in there that we added there. I put some onions and some fresh mushrooms. You can choose whatever type of mushrooms you want. And then I went and I cooked some sausage in advance. We have some pepperoni that we put on there, okay, and a little sauce. And then we're going to end up putting a little cheese. And obviously this uh, is very creative, especially for beginner griller, grillers. What would be your biggest piece of advice for someone who maybe isn't as adventurous? It's, it's the nice part about this is so simple. I talked about making dough and doing all. If you want to do all that, great. But you can go to the grocery store, okay? And for this particular one, because I couldn't bring all that out here, you can buy a crust already ready to go, okay? So you go ahead and throw it on the grill, and then just throw your the fresh vegetables that you have and whatever sauce. Real easy. Well, you make it look easy. So we'll check back with you in the next half hour. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you. And we'll be right back in just a few minutes. And good morning. We are back outside with George Sheffer, and with, we're switching gears from breakfast to maybe lunch or dinner. Is that right? That's right. We did breakfast, okay. We did our, our eggs and our sausage yeah. with our... Nice sandwich. We moved on to lunch. We finished our pizza over here. We have a fresh pizza with fresh vegetables, okay, that you can go to farmer's market and get and do all that. Very simple, very easy to do. Doesn't take very long. You got that completed there. And now we moved on to supper. Okay? Oh, goodness. We have supper in the grill right now here. What do we do for supper, okay? I took a cedar plank, and I went and I got salmon. There is a very special seasoning that I like to bring to everybody's attention here done by a very local person who goes up and gets, okay, wild salmon, brings it back every year, but this is his seasoning that I do, so I really, really like Tony's seasoning. Tony seasons on there doing the salmon. Then I took fresh green beans, okay, marinated them just lightly with a little lemon juice, okay, so we have on there cooking. It, it looks amazing. I kind of just want to dig into it right now, and obviously you make this look so easy. Um, but what is kind of the recipe that you prefer to make the most? I prefer cooking on a grill. So <laughs> anything you want to cook on a grill, I like to do. And what I tell everybody to do, go out there and try different things. What do you got to lose? It's simple. Yeah, everybody knows how to do a hamburger and a hot dog that I can stick out there. It's not hard to go get a cedar plank and the rest there and go get some salmon. Put it on there. Cook it on a little bit on a medium, okay? Or what I call that mom effect, medium off medium so we're in indirect mm -hmm. cooking and rest there and you can slowly watch it cook and do that remember don't look as much as you want to keep it <laughs> closed okay and do that but i highly recommend the most that people don't do is to go get a roast okay do something like that put out there if you put a roast on that mom effect okay 
your roast will come out so tender and juicy. Doesn't <laughs> heat up the house in this hot weather right now, okay? All right, and you'll be out there, and maybe you can even sneak a little drink in as you're cooking. <laughs> well, that's always good. A little bit of a relaxed time while you get to cook. So definitely thank you so much. We'll check back in again near the end of the show. So for then, we'll be back with more news and weather after this.